I want to start by saying that I'm honored that so many people who are directly affected by this investigation are watching today. You know, when we first began this investigation, we encountered the same roadblocks that many of these families had faced for years. A fragmented, overly complex system of service agencies and funding programs. And the ministry clung to its big picture vision of a modern developmental services system based on individual choice and community supports. For a long time, it was unwilling to acknowledge its responsibility for addressing the systemic issues that we were bringing to its attention. And ultimately, after several months of working collaboratively, we, we saw a culture change at the ministry. What really made the difference is leadership and attitudinal changes at the ministry from the top on down. Now, many of my recommendations involve research and consultation and working with other areas, such as justice and health systems, which won't happen overnight. The ministry has already become ad begun addressing some of these issues, and you can find a list of all the steps that it has taken so far at the back of my report. My office and I will continue working with the families and the ministry to resolve these urgent issues, building on what we have achieved thus far. And I look forward to reporting on the ministry's progress in the future. We will keep the spotlight on this issue, which is critical for so many families. There are still our problems to be solved.